In today's health alert, fall is getting closer and therefore so is flu season. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. The CDC is emphasizing the importance of getting vaccinated against influenza. Recently, the agency made changes to its guidelines that specifically impact individuals with egg allergies. And joining us with details on this, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. So, Doc, what's the change and why? Yeah, and so in the past, Brian, the CDC's advice to people with egg allergies was to get vaccinated in a medical setting. This was so folks who could be monitored by a healthcare provider, right, who was trained to manage a severe allergic reaction if an egg-based vaccine was used. Remember, most egg, most flu shots and the nasal spray flu vaccine are made using egg-based technologies, so they contain a trace amount of egg proteins like ovalmumin, which is the primary protein found in chicken egg whites. So now the new guidelines say that people with egg allergies can get any vaccine that's appropriate for their age category, uh, regardless if it's egg-based or non-egg-based. And, and additional safety measures are no longer necessary. Big change, even for those who've had severe reactions to eggs in the past. And here's the reason why. Studies have looked at both the nasal spray vaccine and the flu shots in people with and without the egg allergies and have shown that these severe allergic reactions are actually quite unlikely in individuals with egg allergies. So that's good news. Okay, so how common are severe allergic reactions and then who should not get a flu vaccine? Yeah, so people are wondering, right, if you have severe allergic reactions to vaccine like anaphylaxis, that's a serious and possible life-threatening allergic response. This is not very common. And there was a large study that looked at more than 25.1 million doses of different vaccines given to kids and adults. And the research found this, that the vaccines the rate of anaphylaxis was only 1.31 out of 1 million doses. And for the, the seasonal flu vaccines, it was just 1.35 out of a million doses. So very, very rare. As for those who should not get a flu shot, babies under six months of age are too young for it. Also, if you have severe allergies to any ingredient in the vaccine, with the exception of egg proteins that we talked about, you should avoid the vaccine. And if you have ever had a strong allergic reaction to a previous dose, of a flu vaccine, well, then you shouldn't get the same one again. You might also not be able to get other types of flu vaccines. Super important here to talk to your doctor before getting vaccinated, especially if you have allergies or had reactions to flu shots before. And reactions to watch out for include shortness of breath, wheezing, a rapid or fast heartbeat, heartbeat, a rash or hives. If any of these happen, you got to get emergency care right away. But what I like is that now that we take out another group of people that can that used to not be able to get the vaccine can get it now and, and get it safely because the data supports it. And, and that advice always, you know, seek advice from your doctor if you have a concern. I mean, that, that's, that's and not TikTok, universal. Ryan. We, we always talk about. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't go to WebMD. Go to your doctor. There you go. All right. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate your expertise. Be sure to tune in this weekend to the Dr. Nandy Show. This week, he's exploring questions surrounding death and talks to a woman about her near-death experience. He will also talk with experts about how your brain functions continue after you pass on. That's this Sunday at 2 p.m. right here on 7.